Ready? Yeah. Cool. My name is Ben Schultz, and I'll be presenting today about um, uh, cars and accessibility in the city of Albuquerque. So, um, why this topic? For a portion of this year, uh, me and my wife shared a single car. So, um, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to navigate the city without a car for the first time in my life. Um, and it made me realize how inaccessible the city can be for people who don't own cars. So, for um, example, for people who can't afford a car, cars are expensive, or they have a job that they're having to work more hours maybe to pay for a car that they can't afford. Um, cars cause degraded air quality by creating O3 in the air. Um, and they really separate portions of the population to be able to access the whole city as a whole. Um, so with ABQ, um, the jobs are very concentrated. So here I have a, a zoning picture of the Albuquerque IDO zoning map. And where you see a lot of this tan is all single family housing. And then you have the central business districts that are going to be um, near where the purple and red are. Now that arrow is a pinch point. So the west side is almost entirely low income housing. But when I talked to one of the planners for the city of Albuquerque, they so said that in businesses, it's hard to get them on the west side because of that pinch point itself. Now also, one of the things I did um, that I noticed is using the buses um, makes it really, really difficult because they don't run often and their schedule's not consistent. So Denver has a real, made a really good job of diversifying ways to get around the city and they're still working on it. They're one of the most walkable cities. Um, in Los Angeles, they do have a whole metro system, but it doesn't connect to large living areas. So it's hard for people to get around the city using that large metro system. Um, for example, of a civil world city that's really doing a great job of this is Seoul, South Korea. They actually have three big central districts that a lot of their revenue and business comes from and 90% of the city can get to them and are in walking distance from a subway system that can connect them to those areas. So for me, I think that if Albuquerque wants to get better and more accessible for people, that we need to expand upon a, a bus system um, that's going to run consistently and connect people from residential areas to workplaces. Um, bike Have better bike lanes that are separated from roads so that they're safe and reliable to use so people aren't scared to ride their bikes and get places. And then create more central business districts that are connected, like we see here. This is actually a picture of the new proposed Windrock development up in Uptown. And that's my presentation. <laughs>